four type of math that we're going to do in a minute, which you're going to use the chart on page 81. It's called calculating the cooling time. In other words, if you're going to take two or three x-rays of a patient, you may not be able to take them all one right after the other. You may have to wait in between to let the x-ray machine cool down. Okay, this is on page 81 of the book. This is the cooling chart. What you have on this side, these are heat units. It's the same picture on page 81. The top number is 175,000 heat units. That's the maximum. Down here on the bottom is time in minutes. One, two, three, four, five, six. The only curved line you're gonna use on here is this one right here. It says cooling, it goes from here to here. So you don't need to use these other ones, just this one. And what you do is you look at a certain number of heat units and you figure out what time it corresponds to. Okay. For example, 110,000 heat units. You follow, or I'm sorry, 100,000. You follow the line over until it hits this curved line. This is cooling. And then you go straight down see what time that is and this is um, here's two minutes here's three this is two and a half so it's in between two and a half and three which means it would be about 2.75 okay we'll do a lower one down here 20,000 heat units you follow this line all the way over here it hits the curved line right there so it's between seven and a half and eight about 7.7 .7 7.8. So that's how you use the cooling chart to figure out what we're going to do next, which is the math problem. Okay, this is an example of calculating the, the amount of time that you wait from one x-ray to the other. It tells you you're doing two x-rays. One produces 110,000 heat units, the other produces 130,000 heat units. What is the wait time? Well, the first thing you do is you add these two together and see if they're more than the maximum. The maximum on the chart on page 81 is 175,000 heat units. So if these two added together are more than that, you can take the first x-ray, then you need to wait to take the second one. So the way you figure that out is you take the maximum heat units, 175,000, minus x-ray number two, which was this one, that gives you 45,000 heat units. Then you look up this number, which was x-ray number two, and also this one, look those up on the chart on page 81 and see what time corresponds to each one. For 130,000 heat units, you get a time of 1.5. For 45,000 heat units, you get a time of six minutes. Then you take the the higher number, six minutes, minus the smaller number, and you get the difference. And that's how long you're supposed to wait from one x-ray to the next one. So we'll do another example on the next tape. But this is just a quick example of how you uh, do that problem. Peace out.